What is going on everyone? This is Joe coming back to you guys for another video. And as you probably saw by the title of this video, I'm not going to be focusing on Percy Jackson for this one in particular, but I'm going to be doing the Kane Chronicles, which is another series, another book series written by Rick Riordan. I'll be honest, the Kane Chronicles is either my first favorite series or my second favorite series of all time. It's kind of between the Kane Chronicles and Percy Jackson. Those are my two favorite series. And then the Heroes of Olympus is also up there. It's probably third. So the Kane Chronicles is really special to me. I used to read these books on repeat all the time and so for today i have the box set actually i have the box set right here got it right here and we're just going to be taking out the books and ranking the covers now i do want to let you guys know come back next week on sunday because i am planning to release a ranking of the actual books the actual content of the books because i recently read them and i think i can actually rank them because before it'd been like five years since i read them but since they're fresh on my mind i want to rank the actual books so come back next week for that. But for today, we're just going to rank the covers. So I take these out. I'm not sure what this box set is. These definitely aren't the original covers, but these covers are really cool. And it wasn't that expensive on Amazon. I think right now, if you go look on Amazon, it's actually like 16 bucks or something like that, like 15, 79, somewhere around there. So it's actually a really good deal. But I'm just going to show you guys these covers really fast. So for the first one right here, we have the first book, The Red Pyramid, and that is the cover. And then we have the second book, The Throne of Fire, right there. And then we got the last book in the series, which is a really great book, and that is called The Serpent's Shadow, right chair. And a lot of people may not know this, but if you order this box set right here, this box set on Amazon, you get a bonus book. I just shut the box down, it was about to fall, so I had to save that. But in this box set, you actually get a bonus book, and that is The Red Pyramid, the graphic novel. And this book is actually flat as a pancake. It has no substance whatsoever. But the inside, just show you the one page, it's really cool. You know, it's colored drawings. It has like the dialogue in bubbles, like in comics. It's actually really cool. I haven't read the whole thing because it's pretty small. My eyes are pretty terrible, like a blind man over here. But it is very cool. So that's what you get in the box set. So we're going to include this in my ranking just because we have it. All right, everyone. So kicking off my list at number four, this is the least one, the one that I like the least. And for this one, we're going with The Throne of Fire. Now, I'm not saying this cover is terrible. It still looks pretty cool. And I bet the illustrator was really happy with this cover. However, when you compare it to the other covers that I just showed you, this one is the worst. It sucks. It sucks hard. Okay, I'm kidding. It doesn't suck, like I said. But it still just isn't really anything special. You know, you got Carter and Sadie standing there, not really doing anything. Sadie's holding a staff. Carter's holding his kopesh, his sword. I don't really know what that background is. If you know what that background is, please let me know in the comments. I have no idea what's going on there. I also don't know what they're standing on. Is this some kind of altar? I really don't know. I have no idea what's going on in this photo. So for me, this has got to come in the last place. And then in second place, we're going to go with the Red Pyramid, the regular novel. This one, it's, you know, it's a little more active than the Throne of Fire. Still not much going on here. Characters themselves, you know, they just do look more active. They look like they're actually doing something, whereas in the Throne of Fire, they're just standing there like morons. Total morons. But in this one, you can see some light right there coming from Sadie's whatever it is she's holding. And then Carter's over there looking like an absolute boss. Once again, I have to say, I don't know what's in the background there. Like, what is that behind them? It does it have something to do with the Red Pyramid, which is the name of the book, and it's the main subject of the book. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. I really have no idea what that is behind their heads. And then of course you got this big thing right here. Still no idea what that is. I, I don't know. I have no idea. So for this one, it's better than the Throne of Fire. Still don't know everything that's going on in this picture. So for me, it comes in in third place. All right, and for second place, we're gonna go ahead and go with the Red Pyramid, the graphic novel. For me, this one just looks really cool because it has all of the main characters on the cover. I mean, you got Carter, you got Sadie, you got Zia, you got Amos. Yes, I think that's actually how you pronounce Amos. A-M-O-S, it's not Amos as I originally thought. It's actually Amos, which makes it sound kind of odd, but it is true, it's Amos. But I really do just like the team up aspect of this cover. You just see all the main characters, you see you see what they're doing. I like being able to visualize these characters in my mind because before seeing this, you know, you just have to think of what they look like. But seeing this cover, you can actually see what they look like and they actually look pretty lifelike there. So it's pretty amazing to see this. Amos just looks like a total boss, even more than a boss of Carter in the last cover. I don't know, this just looks really cool. So it comes in at number two. But bringing us into our top one pick, of course, has to be the Serpent Shadow. You just cannot 
be this. I mean, you have Carter and Sadie on the cover. Once again, they're on the, spoiler alert, they're on the cover of every single book. I mean, literally, they're the only ones on the covers of the three main books. Still, you kind of have kind of silhouettes of them. You can't really make out too much of the details, but you know it's them. And then in the background, you have the great pyramids. And of course, you have Apophis, the great villain of this series. I mean, looking at this cover, you can't help but just say, wow, that's awesome. That rocks. And just take a close look at Apophis right there. Like that looks creepy. That is a villain. And even the Great Pyramids, I don't know, they just look ominous. They just look really cool. The whole cover meshes together really well and it just is a great cover. It's a great book cover if you relate it to any covers in the whole world. I just think this one is very cool. So yeah, that is gonna do it for my ranking. Once again, I had The Throne of Fire at number four, The Red Pyramid at number three, The Red Pyramid, the graphic novel at number two, and The Serpent Shadow at number one. We gotta do a box set slap. And also, you know what? I haven't done a magic trick in a while, so let me just make these disappear really quick. Three, two, one. That's it, they're gone. Totally gone. I don't know how I just did that, but they're gone. Yeah, that was a pretty cool trick. Oh shoot, did I just give my secret away? Oh, okay, well. Pretend you were amazed. But yeah, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Go ahead and let me know in the comments what you thought of the video, if you liked it, if you disliked it. And let me know your ranking of the Kane Chronicles book covers. And also remember to come back next week for when I rank the Kane Chronicles books by their content. It sounds really weird when I say that. Be sure to come back next week when I rank the Kane Chronicles books. That's better. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.